Hi, my name is Michael Gatewood, and I want to show you a couple of patterns that I've downloaded just recently. But if I go to the pattern stamp, and let me zoom in so you can see very closely the pattern stamp, located right underneath the clone stamp, and something that's probably not used that often. The pattern stamp is actually pretty cool because in the drop down, in the options that you have at the top, you can actually go in and create new patterns or load patterns and download them and I've got a few one is a uh, kind of a bokeh or night sky and the other one is uh, curtains and all kinds of neat textures and of course you can download and make your own but what I want to do is I want to go in here and on a base canvas and if we go in here and look at the image size it's a uh, high resolution about eight inches I'm just gonna click and all of a sudden you can see the pattern that's being created which looks like a curtain pretty cool and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and go control Z and undo I'm thinking about making this base layer of paper or white creating a new layer with transparency and using the pattern going all the way back over the image literally painting in this pattern and that looks pretty cool alright now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and put in the word curtain control T is transform and we'll make this really big we have shown this effect before for being able to go in and be able to put images into type and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put curtain underneath the curtain hold down the alt key and click and now curtain is inside this graphic and if we want we can throw a couple of styles into it like a stroke to define the edge and all of a sudden we have the word curtain with a texture of curtain inside pretty cool using the pattern stamp.